we are going to beat the world record. Welcome back everyone. This video I'm going to show you two secret mechanics that's going to improve your gameplay by a lot. It's also going to increase your combo hits. And if you haven't seen my first video, uh, check that out because this video might be a little bit confusing. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how we can beat the world record. So let me show you the first mechanic. So you see how it didn't knock him down. So if you do a fireball, it knocks him down. You do a show you get it knocks him down, right? If you do a, a fireball and a show you get it also knocks him down. But in that situation, it didn't knock him down. So I thought that was a glitch. So I mentioned it in my last video and the developer replied back and saying, hey, nice video, but it was not a glitch. It's actually part of the game. It is called a restand. So let me explain what that means. So in order for certain things to link, they have to put in this uh, we stand mechanic so certain combos are possible. So let me show you an example. So this is a typical combo, right? If you do a five ball, you go up for a show you can. You go up for five ball, you, you do a you do a show you can. You're after the five ball, your show you can is hitting them in the air. So you can't hit another time. Show you can the second one would miss. But look at this. So if you you see? I, would, I think that's what the, what the developer meant by restand. So after the fireball, it puts them, and if you time it correctly, it puts them into a restanding position. So that way you can do more things. So uh, if you can do something like, if you do a fireball now, let me see if I can reproduce it. It hit, but I missed. You saw that? So. If you take advantage of the restand position, you're able to do more combos at certain situations. So keep that in mind. So if you're doing your combos, um, after your fireball, don't just go straight up for a shuriken. You wait a little bit and then you, you, you shuriken and it's gonna give you more uh, combo possibilities. Does it work in season two with Splashy, AKA Ken? Let's see. So after the shuriken, the second one doesn't hit. So now we're gonna use that re stand mechanic. Too slow. There you go. It does work. The next mechanic is called the wake up mechanic. So basically, I discovered this when I was trying to run faster than my fireball. I was trying to see if I can link a combo with the fireball, giving me like more hits and stuff like that. Uh, so let's do a simple example. I'm gonna jump in, one, two, and then show you again. That's five hits. One, two, and then show you again. That's five hits. So now I'm gonna apply the wake up mechanic. This one is a bit tricky. So you see that with six hits. That's six hits. So I think what is happening is your, your kick and the fireball is hitting at the same time. So it somehow puts him in that frozen position. So the trick is basically that you knock him down, giving you extra time for another fireball. And then you would dash up and do a kick. So as the fireball and the kick hits it at the same time, it freezes him and, you, and then you'll be right next to him. So giving you an extra hit on top with the fireball. So if you're doing combos, uh, remember this mechanic and the previous mechanic is gonna give you those extra opportunities to do more combos. So the question is, does it work on the updated version with Splash? Let's find out. Yes, it does. Uh, but I do notice that the developer slowing down the fireball and slowing down the, the recovery after the fireball. Uh, so I'm gonna show it on the next video. Uh, also, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks for Splashy. I will be dissecting all the, uh, the tricks and uh, mechanics and everything for Splashy, just like uh, my Flappy video, my first video. But I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Uh, for example, uh, for Splashy, pressing number two is just a regular jump kick, but they added, but in this version, they gave him a forward spin kick. Instead of pressing one, you get a backward spin kick. You have now have a, a forward spin kick. So the trick is this. If you press two once, it's a jump kick. If you press two, 
at its highest point, meaning as as soon as you press it and you wait until he's at his highest height, you press it again, you're gonna land in the middle of the screen. But if you press it really quick, let's see, you can hit your opponent all the way from this side to that side. What does that mean? That means you can do combos that's, you can do a big, uh, you can do like big damaging combos from the other side of the coast. Let me see if I can pull that off. Something like that. A lot of potential, but I'm gonna be showing that on my next video. So that was my 18 hit combo that I did. Uh, I thought I was the only one and I thought I was the first one that got 18 hits. So I posted online and then realized I was not the first one and I was not the only one that was doing these 18 hit combos. There's actually a big community online that's doing these uh, highest combos for Flappy Fighter. But long story short, um, the whole world and everybody and the community basically stopped at 18 hits for the first version of Flappy Fighter. Uh, but I think, I think we can do more than 20 hits. If my theory is not wrong, I believe 20 hit is possible. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, so remember my how my combo basically is a cross up into two punches and a spin kick. So if I'm able to apply the the wake up mechanic, but having me the timing is so that I'm I'm doing a cross up so that I have an extra hit from the fireball and then that means I can get 19 hits so but that's that's I'm still experimenting with that from like different like different distance and things like that so I haven't figured that out yet uh, another thing is um, the ending of my combo is basically a fireball into two shoryukens so if I can apply the restand uh, mechanic at the ending, so after the fireball, if I can do get two hits, that means another hit because my combo is two shoryukens, but a single hit for each. So if I'm able to do a restand, getting two hits for the first shoryuken and then another shoryuken, that means another hit. So in total, it's gonna be. 20 hits but I don't even know if it's if it's gonna matter because if you download this game you're not gonna have this version anymore so I don't I'm, I'm just I'm just uh, a few moments later but yeah uh, as I was saying it may not even matter at this point because they updated the game uh, if you download the game right now it's not gonna be this version it's gonna be the new version which is splashy uh, it's basically Ken Ken in Street Fighter um, I, yeah but I just want to bring that up just in case uh, if someone still has the old version and if someone is interested in it and if someone uh, wants to challenge that combo but anyway um, uh, like comment subscribe is always gonna be helpful and always gonna support this channel I'm still new to this YouTube uh, community so any help uh, will be will help the channel so thank you guys for watching and I'll, I'll see you guys next time